In today's session, we will do a bank product return with stated household income. First thing we do is click on New Return. Enter the Social Security number. There we go. We found us a good social. Okay, so next we're going to uh, select how the person is filing. We're going to say this person is filing, head of household. She lives in the United States. Type in the zip in the city and the state will load for us. Click next. Now we're doing the identity verification. She has a driver's license. We're going to select Texas as the state of residence and who issued the license. And we validated this information in person. No special processing on this return. So we go to the next screen. None of this applies. So we'll go to the next screen. It's always best to start in an interview if you're a first year office, if you don't have to carry forward from previous years, or if you're just new to this tax software. This will simplify tax processing for your office by starting in the interview. We select that she does have dependents. Our son, months in home, 12, lived in the household with her, 
select the EIC I'm going to add one more dependent. Household for 12 months, the child that lives with her. I'll select the EIC box. Just pay attention to these questions because you select the wrong answer and uh, earn income tax credit and the child tax credit will not calculate. Save this information. Click next. Types of income. This person is filing stated household employee income and it's not an item that can be selected on this screen so we're just going to click next. This person did not sell any assets so we're going to click next. No adjustments to income. Click next. Tax preparation, very simple using this software. Any itemized deductions, she does not have any, so we're going to click Next. Extra question, none of this applies, we will click Next. No state return on this client, so we'll click Next. Now we will click Finish and it will convert this into a tax return. Well, now we're on the main information sheet. We just scroll down and get the red out. Okay, we're going to add the cell phone number. So that she can receive a text message when her money is ready. Scroll down, select the bank product. We have Republic Bank and Bank Products selected. If she did not want a bank product and it would be a traditional e-file, she's going to pay up front for the tax prep. Just deselect these two items and select e-file only. The only thing that should be missing is the date. There it is. And the today's date. That information turned green. Now it's the ACA. We're going to say that they all have health insurance. And it was not purchased through the marketplace, so that's a no and a no. Had minimum essential. And the children had minimum essential. The children had Medicaid, and Medicaid qualifies as minimum essential coverage. Just make sure you keep a copy of the Medicaid card in your client file. Okay, 1040 page one. Asking did she itemize deductions last year? No. Now we're going to look for line seven for the wages. And she has household employee income and the people that she worked for did not give her a W-2, so she's stating her income of $12,500. Now we go to the Schedule EIC worksheet. She has a valid W-2. She was not a non-resident alien. 
she could not be a qualifying child on someone else's return. Yes, 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 yes. After a while, you'll know these answers without even looking at them. No. Yes, yes. This really simplifies tax preparation. Okay, so that schedule is finished. Now we'll go to the 8867. Yes, yes. Okay, now we'll go to 8867, page 2. Now we're on the bank disclosure forms. The only thing that's required on these are just uh, the dates. Just always be careful with these questions because if you answer them incorrectly, it will take the earned income tax credit and the child tax credit off of the tax return. Go to the left and look at the refund monitor. She's currently showing a refund of 6435 So now we'll go to the bank product application. And she does want to get the easy advance so we'll click here for the easy advance it automatically defaults to the 1250 she's responsible for it she gives us permission to share her information with the bank she wants a printed check if she wanted a debit card we would click in XR if she wanted direct deposit we would click on direct deposit so she changed her mind she wants a direct deposit so we're gonna put a direct deposit on her
deposit is going to her checking account. She wants to get a text message when it's ready. We have government issued social security cards in the file. We have a Texas driver's license, a copy of it in the file. That page is turned green. So now we'll do the oral disclosure where we read these statements to the taxpayer. After we have read them, we check this box. And we go down and we check this box. Now this return is ready for diagnostics to see if there's any errors. So we'll run a diagnostics on it. So it's saying that we don't have the main the information on the main info, so we'll go back to the main information sheet. And we need to put the direct deposit info in there because it does require validation. So we'll scroll down to where we see some red. Okay, now we'll run diagnostics again. It's ready. So now we're going to print the return. Going to open this return. It is ready for print. So now we can create the e-file. Create it successfully. Save and close the return. Click on e-filing. Submit e-files. And there she is. You click in the box next to her social. Click continue. Then it will take you to another screen. You click continue again, and that return will be sent to the filing center and forwarded on to the Internal Revenue Service. The client would receive a text message when their money is available, and it will be deposited directly into the client's checking account on this uh, tax return here. This concludes our training session.